other mechanisms uh, would would another mechanism would be tectonic compaction, which is is very similar. Tectonic compaction is very similar, so you can imagine that you have an isolated region due to faulting. So, so let's say that hydrocarbons were generated in some region over millions of years, okay, and then due to faulting, say a fault here and a fault here causes isolation. For example, it causes a shift in the formation such that now you have an isolated formation due to faulting, and then, then we have tectonic stresses. So now you have faulting, and then you have forces due to the fact that these plates are moving around, generated, and that squeezes this formation. And you know, here I drew it from the side, but, but it could also be you know, pressure you know, from above in some shear manner or something like that. But basically the idea is that you have some isolated formation due to some tectonic occurrences, faulting or whatever, and then you have motion of tectonic plates, which causes this to squeeze. When you squeeze it, you, you're basically you're compressing the rock, right, which causes the porosity to go down. You squeeze the pores down. Well, when you ever have a fluid and you make its volume smaller, the pressure has to go up. So this is tectonic compaction. So again, this occurs in areas where large cell tectonic stress changes occur over geologically short periods of time. So, you know, again, you're assuming that these layers around the isolated formation are somewhat impermeable or have low permeability, such that as these sort of sudden, sudden could be a few million years, but these sort of sudden changes, or I mean, not, you know, maybe not a few million, but a few, a few thousand years, you have an isolation of formation when the surrounding rock has characteristic link scales of a few hundred thousand years. So the fluid can't diffuse out faster than the tectonic motion occurs. <coughs> 